Hi, welcome to Reacts with Jax. I'm Jax, and today I'm reacting to John Wick 3 Parabellum. I can't wait to see this movie. I have not only loved the first John Wick, but also the second. I almost thought the second was better than the first, and I didn't think that was possible because the first one was amazing. In the last movie, we saw John Wick get his membership to the Continental completely revoked, and Winston basically told him at the very end that you have one hour before all of the assassins, I'm assuming in the world, not just in New York, are now going to try and kill him because he has such a big bounty on his head for killing Santino. I always wanted to say Santiago, but his name was Santino, I think. Or was it Santiago? No. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the two. <laughs> anyway, in the very last shot, we saw John and his dog running away and trying to find some safety. So I am hoping that this movie picks up right where the last one left off because I would love to see how John gets out of this conundrum. And I'm also hoping that John has more friends. I'm hoping that we get like a larger cast in this movie because it seems like all of his contacts, at least from the previous two movies, I don't know what, like, who is he going to trust? He can obviously trust Aurelio, but I don't think he's going to be able to hide out with Aurelio. He needs some more assassin friends. And so I'm excited to jump right into it. By the way, I loved reading in the comments section of the last video, uh, what you thought his dog was named. Some of you, cause I had asked you, um, some of you said you assume his dog's name is no. Some of you said his dog's name is dog. I, of course, have named the dog Blue. Hopefully, only good things happen to Blue in this movie. So I'm really looking forward to it. And I got my Halloween cardigan on because it's spooky October season. So I'm excited to watch people die. <laughs> okay, make sure you're subscribed and like this video if you enjoyed this content. It really supports my channel. And let's get started. Statue of Liberty, symbol of freedom. John just lost his. I love how beautifully shot these movies have been. Like every, everything looks like a work of art right now. There's John and Blue. <laughs> okay. So, wow, this is picking up like right where we left off. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, not cool for John though. Oh, where's he gonna go? You know, I would say that he could just blend in with the crowd, but we've seen in the previous two movies, almost everybody knows who John is just by sight alone. But I know better, man. I know better. I know it up. Wait a minute. That's that guy from The Good Place, right? His voice is so recognizable. Don't go for John. Tick tock, Mr. Wick. <sighs> oh, Derek. That was his name in the good place. Take your wind chimes and leave. Wow, I don't think we've ever seen John afraid and I don't know if he's feeling that much fear right now because it's John. We know that all of the cat assassination, assassinators, assassins, I'll get a hang of it. We know that all the assassins used to drive cabs because they showed that in the beginning of the first movie. The Continental. Can you see that he's received by the concierge? Oh. What did I tell you? He knows who he is. John Wick, excommunicado. In effect, 20 minutes. I have so much faith in John that I'm not too worried yet. And we know the singers and the violinists, they're all in on it. New York, it's a very dangerous and deadly place. <laughs> Rodin Ruski Skoski, 1864. Good thing it wasn't her first day on the job. Can you imagine? She would have typed everything out so slowly. Oh, John, you're, you're so smart, John. Leaving stuff for yourself all over the city that nobody else knows about. That was a marker, right? So he had given his to Santino. Oh, Helen. She died like a week ago, man. You were not made to leave as brutes, but to follow virtue and knowledge. 
Lammy, someone's about to die, and it's not John Wick. Ernest, I still have time. He's almost up. Yeah, Ernest. He's gonna know the difference. Dessert. Oh, send it back. Send back the dessert. We didn't order it. Oh. Oh, you just stabbed him right in the first few minutes of this movie, didn't you? A book to the crotch. <laughs> that's a that's a heavy punch of wisdom right there. <laughs> he just shushed him as he's trying to kill him. My God, ugh, oh, Ernest, you're just a little too earnest, aren't you? Oh, you just murdered him with a book. Death by Wisdom and John Wick. I will not be looking at my books the same way again. <laughs> that takes killing someone with a pencil to a whole new level, doesn't it? Yeah, John, you need to take care of that. <laughs> he takes off his bucket hat because he means business. Bucket hats, they're too silly. I'm so glad Morpheus is back. Bowery will honor the excommunicado. No help, no services of any kind. Oh, when you're excommunicated, you're like hardcore excommunicated. I was almost up. I thought, please, there's still time. No, I can't. I still have five minutes. He still has five minutes. He has five minutes. Help him out. John, I'm drinking electrolytes for you. So I, I hope you feel that. <laughs> Nick the artery. Tick tock doc. Hurry it up. John Wick, excommunicado. In effect, one minute. Oh my gosh. You have just started the stitches. Oh, sweetheart. You should have been more prepared for this. You should have read it in the script ahead of time and prepared. Four. Three. Three. Two. two one. Um. Oh, we've just entered a new world. Can the doc kill him for the money? Sorry. Yeah, the doc can kill him for the money. Oh, he has to stop helping him. I get it. I get it. Okay. All services are suspended. John, you need to develop some friends outside of this world. I love these old school computers with the high tech visuals of everything. The modern music, it's, ugh, this movie is just stunning. You need to like cut your hair, get a hat. How do you hide from people in plain sight with this many people after you? Right, yeah, take four. It'll give you energy, help with the pain. Huh, a painkiller that gives you energy. Mr. Wick. Oh God, oh God, oh God. I'll never believe I stopped on the hour. They'll know. Know what? I told you where the medicine was. Yeah. Where? Here, just below my floating rib. Be sure not to hit my- <laughs> One may not be enough. Sweetie, one is so enough. You should not to graze my car. John has great aim. Good luck, Mr. Wick. Thanks, Doc. That's a friend right there. Taking two bullets for you. Wow. Then again, he was trying to save his own life too. John never shoots people in the chest though. He always shoots two bullets, but it's always chest and then the head. If I was John, and I was trying to be the best assassin in the world, I think I would just get a blueprint of the city and learn all the different access roads to everything. I mean, that's what you'd have to do, right? To make quick getaways. Oh, oh, we got some antique guns going on. Are they loaded though? Oh no, but they have bullets for all the antique guns. that don't fit, that's annoying. Oh, that's 
This is a puzzle. <laughs> this is like an assassin's worst nightmare. Oh my god. <laughs> this this is a dream I would totally have where I'm an assassin, I'm about to be murdered, and the guns and the bullets don't fit together, yes. You just built your own gun, John. I think you missed a glass surface. Might wanna smash it just to create maximum levels of damage in the store. Oh, oh, all the knives. Yeah, I've been looking at those. There were hatchets before. Oh, you almost wouldn't be able to procreate, but Helen's dead, so maybe that's not a concern of yours. If only John had a book, then he'd really be able to kill these guys. The fighting and the stunts in this film have stepped it up so much. I don't think we've seen John do this much hand-to-hand -hand combat because normally he has guns. He smashed that man's head in with a knife just like his head was a freaking coconut. Oh, the slow knife going into you. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. No, that's disgusting. And I looked at it. Oh, <laughs> if this was real, I'd be horrified. It's a movie, so I'm not. But I still kind of am. But I'm also enjoying it. Oh, you just killed him with a hatchet. Oh, God. Wow. Okay, so this was the horror movie that I needed for Halloween. Oh, and you just... <sighs> right after the knife scene, you show a dog being well taken care of. The people who made this movie really know how to stress you out and then hit you right in the heart, don't they? You <laughs> did, you hit him with your car, and now you're... Does, is, I'm, ugh, I gotta watch a behind the scenes video to see if he's doing his own stunts here because man, you can get really hurt doing that. Okay, <laughs> they're bringing horses into this now? If anyone hurts a horse, John won't let them hurt a horse. No, no, this isn't the Godfather. John Wick is a protector of animals. <laughs> <laughs> this is about as close to a horror movie as I could ever do, and I know it's not considered horror, but it's like... Oh! What? What is happening in this movie? <laughs> you... I didn't know you could press an area on a horse and it would just like, boom, kill someone. Like, what part of the horse are you unlocking to do that? <laughs> I just want to see more horses kill people. Is that terrible? <laughs> You're gonna die so bad. It's gonna be terrible. It's really gonna be bad. He's gonna drag you behind that horse. Okay. Sometimes when I get scared, I narrate. He's got a black horse, just like that black car of his. Yes, wait a minute, didn't he used to drive a black Mustang? Is this a black Mustang, but real? John's riding a horse without a helmet. Not very safe, at least the people on the motorcycles are wearing helmets. <laughs> Chase. I never knew I needed this.
Is there anything that John Wick can't do? He's not done. Is that Angelica Houston? Why have you come home? <gasps> yes, it is. Home? When my pupils first come here, they wish for one thing, a life free of suffering. As you know, art is pain. Is that a toenail? That was a toenail. Oh, oh God. And the sound of it, it wasn't even the visual. It was the sound. Wow. He grew up here. Wow, so he learned how to train from a very young age. This is reminding me a little bit of the Black Widow storyline from the MCU. So tell me, Jadai, what do you really want? Probably Helen back. Passage. Where? Where did you want to go? Casablanca. Oh no. Oh, I'm not gonna like this. Your ticket is torn. Oh, he's pushing it in hard, man. Can't you just give it like a nice tap? You can never come home again. Ooh. It is so weird seeing John, enemy number one, all alone, by himself, afraid. We've seen two movies with him built up as like the main undefeatable guy. How may I help you? We saw this in the opening credit. There is an adjudicator here to see. An adjudicator. Hmm. I told him to walk away. He declined to do so. And that's the all of it. Mr. Wick broke the rules. Oh. Okay, her voice is so different than I was expecting. The bowels of the Continental. Wow. Instead of stopping him, Instead of killing him, you stood by and let him walk away after he shot Santino D'Antonio. Is Winston going to be excommunicated as well? I am here to adjudge you. You have one week to get your affairs in order. At such time, your successor will be named. I love how there's fire behind them. You may look for me in room 217. 217. Enjoy your stay at the Continental. It's like he was making a deal with the devil or having a conversation with the devil with the fires behind him. That's so interesting that they're getting rid of him. Hmm. There's an adjudicator here to see you. No freaking way. So the adjudicator is just going to kind of take down a lot of powerful people. I'm assuming those powerful people will then want to take down the high table. That's what I, if I was Winston, I'd be like, screw the high table. I controlled the word on the street. Way of the world. With pigeons. Yeah. Assassin pigeons. I wanted to see where it didn't happen. Where what didn't happen? Where you didn't kill John Wick. Hold her umbrella for her, Derek. <laughs> you gave John a seven round Kimber, knowing that he intended to use it to stand against the table. This Kimber 1911, to be exact. I don't think that's how you hold it, but yeah. You gave John Wick seven bullets. The high table is giving you seven days. I hate this for the characters because I like all of these characters, but I love this for the storyline and for John. This is delightful. The high table is making some hardcore enemies right now. There are assassins even here too. Of course there are. They're everywhere, John. Gotta watch out. Don't walk down a dark alley, John. Everyone knows that. That's where the murderers are. Oh, everyone just keeps bringing dessert these days. And I'm over here trying to be on a diet and I'm like, I don't want any dessert. No, no, no dessert. Oh, not, not the slow knife in the face. Can't handle one of those again. I'm afraid our friend here is off limits. Really? Who is the manager?
manager. A dog. We know she can be trusted because she too has a dog. No worry, John. Those dogs look very nice. Nice suit. Oh, right. He can't get shot. When you needed help, I was there. Sit. <laughs> then I'm management now, right? I'm not service anymore, John, so I don't go around shooting people in the head. No, just in the suit. We leave in 10 minutes. Okay, so go to the bathroom and get a snack, because after this you're going to go somewhere. You got to be prepared. Maybe bring a water bottle, too. Because he never drinks water. How can I help you? Oh, I'm wearing the same nail polish color as her. Matching the villain again. I think of her as a villain. I have served. I will be of service. Hmm. Oh, no. Is that woman from the high table going to visit them? Oh, no. Don't you hurt Angelica Houston now. I have served. I will be of service. Oh. It's just a conversation. Nothing's ever just a conversation with you, John. Your dogs are packing. Those dogs are deadly. In more ways than one. Oh. Come along, Bruno. I am certain we have much to discuss. I know I've seen that guy before. This dog, I do so love it. Tell me, does it shed a great deal? Occasionally. Is he gonna kill the dog? The elder is not the man you find. You wish to speak with him? Go to the edge of the desert? I am grateful. Not letting you leave, though. It's the least you can do. No, you cannot keep my dog. Very well. I understand why John wanted revenge for his dog. Because we saw in real time what that dog meant to him. Because it wasn't about the dog. It was really about his wife, Helen that he wanted to leave this entire life for. I'm okay with that, to be honest. But I don't know why they would kill another dog in this movie. Don't. He shot my dog. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> Again, I love the gun throwing technique. When in doubt, throw a gun. When you're out of bullets, throw a gun. Dog, only one left. How did that dog go from that angle? So that dog didn't die, he just was shot. Oh my gosh, that dog is fierce. He's been shot and he's still going after people? I thought he killed him. Well, it looks like John now has his friend Sophia, Pigeon Man, and Winston that might all be on his side. <laughs> Oh my god, these dogs go right for the crotch, don't they? Yes, they do. Oh, are they both out? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. That was a bit of a timed test, wasn't it? I am curious if the doctor who helped 
John find the medicine if if anyone's going to go after him kind of makes sense as to why he asked John to shoot him because it really presumably will help him appear innocent if the high table wants to go after him you used his own weapon to kill him gotta love it Oh, that's mean. You're gonna spit that out, aren't you? Oh. You should have brought sunblock. You and I have very similar skin, John, and I gotta tell you, you'd be red as a tomato. Everybody has their animals. He has his pigeons, she had her dogs. The Japanese had their cat. I'm curious if these swords are always what these assassins use or if they're using it specifically because this is revenge and it's more personal. You gave John Wick seven bullets. Your penance will be paid with seven cuts. Oh. Long live the king. Oh, I thought they were going to do something similar to Angelica Houston's character. They just sliced him to pieces. The high table does not mess around. Or care if you bruise anything. <laughs> Please drink. You have a red and gold cup and I have something similar. How have you come to be so lost? Helen died. And then everything just went to hell. Complete a task for us and your excommunicado will be reversed. You will be permitted to continue to live, doing what you do best for the rest of your day. Ooh. John, you don't want to do that. The cost of your life will be the death of others. The first of which will be the man they call Winston. <sighs> Neither the open contract nor the excommunicado will be lifted until you complete your task. Oh, you need to just kill all the members of the high table. Get these people out of there. They are way too high and mighty. No, no. Actually, I really like this actor. I will, sir. You will? John? Ugh. Cast aside your weakness and reaffirm your fealty to the table. Oh, what body part do you need removed? Oh. What do you, what do you, Morini. show, okay, I, I want to know, but I don't want to know, oh, I want to know, but I don't want to know, I want to see it, but I don't want to see it, do you get what I mean? You know what I mean. <gasps> Holy mother of the Hulk, Holy mother of the Hulk, he just cut off his finger, Holy mother of the Hulk, why, that was his wedding ring finger, oh god. You can sew that back on, you know. You just keep it. Just keep the finger in your pocket or something. I accept this offering and your fealty. I accept your death. Where's jo We need some dinner reservations up in here. These people are not your friends. No, 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 no. Not looking. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. I don't care if you want me to look. It's not happening. I got to hear it. I know it's fake. And you know what? I was enjoying the death before. I'm not enjoying it anymore. We will help you prepare for your departure. And Mr. Wick. What? Marhaba. Mm. You know what, Helen, you just had to die, didn't you? You just messed up John's whole entire life with your death. <laughs> he can't kill Winston. This is not okay. I think he and Winston and the concierge need to form a new group, a new high table. Get rid of the old high table, create a new high table, an even higher table. The highest table. <laughs> How about a high chair instead of a high table? Okay, I'll stop. Contract's over, sweetie. Contract is over, don't even try. He cut off his finger. No one cared that a bunch of dead bodies just fell in the middle of a walkway. 
you wouldn't like i would scream i well i don't know what i would do i'd probably be like is this a movie being filmed right now john wick 3 maybe stick together kids make sure you're holding <laughs> See, that's why you're special, John Wick. I wouldn't have stopped. It's good to have you back. You would have just gone through the kids? Oh. He evaporated. Nice trick. Yeah, that is a nice trick. How'd you do that? Oh, John is not messing around. He just lost his finger and you are about to lose your life. This is what happens when you go after John. I don't get why that guy's still trying to kill him. I thought John was, uh... Oh, he has to kill Winston before the contract ends on him. I get it, I get it. Okay. Okay, as someone who doesn't ride a motorcycle, I... Imagine this takes so much balance in order to be able to do all this stuff. So close yet so far. Oh God. Sir, put your weapon down. He's excommunicado. No, he's not. Is he? I'd like to see the manager. Of course. If you would be so kind as to follow me. He's not ex- I mean, he is excommunicado still. Gosh, I keep thinking he's gotten his membership back, but he hasn't. He has to kill Winston first. This is terrible. Oh, this is terrible. Oh! Oh! Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, I like this guy. I kind of hope he doesn't die. <laughs> I gotta tell you, uh -huh. I've been looking forward to meeting you for a long time. I'm a huge fan. And so far you haven't disappointed. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Me, I'm more of a cat person myself. I love this guy. They better not kill him. He's too delightful to kill. They better not kill Winston either. Come on now. Unless John's coming here to tell Winston that they're coming for him. I don't know. Man, this storyline keeps getting more complicated. How are they going to get John out of this one and keep Winston alive? That's my goal, but maybe they're not going to keep Winston alive. Maybe he's just going to kill him. I don't know. Maybe I should stop talking and we'll figure it out. Although to be fair, me talking is not slowing down this process because he's walking pretty slow so <sighs> he knows it's coming who do you wish to die as the baba yaga the last thing many men ever see or as a man the second one i picked the second one girl i think you're about to die and we need to call charlie for a bit of a dinner reservation because they're going to need to clean you up off the floor. Will you be putting a bullet in his head? No. Yes! Very well. Isn't she worried at all? The Continental Hotel, New York. New designation? Deconsecrated. So it's not going to be a safe space anymore? That means that assassin who's a fan of John would be able to kill him on Continental property. Since you are refusing to step down, and you are refusing a direct order, your lives are now forfeit. So is yours. Good evening, gentlemen. Oh, please kill her. Come on. I guess if killing isn't personal, then no one would care about her. I mean, she's not killing anyone. She's not trying to kill anyone. She's just delivering information. I take it personally. I love this. They are going to war with the high table. I think John Wick should be one of the high table members. Oh yeah, John still has his stab wound from the previous movie. He was also stabbed in the thigh. He was shot 
in his torso. He has his knife wound from earlier in this movie. Oh, and his finger. He has just been beat up. Do what you do best. What's that? Hunt. <laughs> Good luck, John. Amy and I are rooting for you. See this back in. Prepare for war. Yep. So this is interesting. This is interesting. I just noticed this. Now it's all green lights. In the previous two movies, there were red lights surrounding a lot of the atmosphere, kind of what I assumed was symbolizing John's descent into hell. Here we have green lights as he's fighting back against the high table, kind of taking back his humanity. I love this. So these are all employees of the Continental and they're all dropping like flies, except for Sharon. Gotta throw that gun. There needs to be at least one gun throw per movie, per main character. Winston's not doing anything. He convinces John to not kill him, and then he just sits back while John does everything. Damn. That blew that guy's head straight off. Takes a while to reload. Oh, so I'm assuming that this gun is more helpful since they're covered in so much armor because John shot that guy a few times, but I think he's wearing a bulletproof vest because he was able to come back at him. Well, we haven't seen an underwater shot yet of them fighting. Guess we're going to get that now. Oh. Yep, yep. <sighs> your biggest fan. This turns your biggest fan into a slightly scarier experience. I want that assassin to be on John's side. I know you side. believe you can keep this up, but I assure you. <laughs> yes. Oh, she's wearing a sparkly blazer. It's not going to save you, girl. No amount of sparkles will save you. You could break it so easily, goodness. You know, seeing how easily all these people were able to kill people before with these swords, it's very impressive what John's able to do. Are we having fun? <laughs> a pencil when you need one, you know? I still got one more, John. One more guy. Just catch your breath first before you go for him, though. This guy. Double thumbs up to you, too, man. Love your enthusiasm for death. I personally wouldn't want to meet you, but I love watching you on screen. <laughs> Ooh. Um. What? Oh, they want it to be more of a fair fight. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. I get that. Well, it's, it's not really fair. It's two against one and they have knives and he doesn't. Oh, sweetheart. I, I'm okay with this. I like this. They want him to be up on his feet doing his best before they kill him. Oh, John doesn't need a pencil. He's got a belt. Now it makes sense why they asked him to take off his belt before. What do you do? Are you going to kill them? 
I guess so. Some of these guys I'd prefer to live. I think there's a fourth movie. I'd like to see some of them return. <laughs> Lammy, send positive thoughts John Wick's way. <laughs> a globe! I love a good globe. I love globes. And that's a cool one. Zombie Hmm. John, take a breath. Drink some Powerade. You're gonna need it to fight that dude. He's hardcore. I can already tell. If I didn't have to kill you, we'd be pals. <laughs> pals. <laughs> How is John supposed to defeat him with this sword? The sword seems to be his areas of expertise, not necessarily John's. Or is, are we to believe that John is just an expert at everything? Okay. <gasps> oh, the subtitles say bones cracking. Thank you for that. Closed captions. Is he behind you? Yeah. And you knew. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Turning the tables on him. My, how the turn tables. <laughs> oh, what is that? Mm. Mm. I would like to suggest a parlay. A parlay would be good. You're accepting a parlay? Are we in place, sir? Oh, very much so. Hmm. That was a pretty good fight, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish he had done that thing with this guy where he says, don't take it out and you can still live if you go to a hospital. But I guess this guy, the whole point of him is he never gives up, so he would just never stop fighting. We are high table. And we are New York City. Hell yeah. The high table has been betrayed by a lot of people. So I'm assuming the high table is starting to feel a little threatened by all these people. What do you propose we do? Kill her. Get rid of the high table. Make y'all part of the high table. Now I humbly acknowledge I overstepped and re-pledge my fealty to the high table. You're kind of screwing John over though, aren't you? What are we going to do about John Wick? <laughs> you're gonna let him live? And you're gonna give him his dog back? Oh, he has to die. <laughs> Sorry, Jonathan. Uh, I said Don't see any other way. This was planned, right? <laughs> no. What the? Oh my mother. Of the Hulk, what the hap- what the- that's a- Very well, gentlemen. Oh my god. The Continental will now be reconsecrated. Good day to you both. Well played, sir. That was fake, right? I'm so- <gasps> If that was not fake, Winston. Okay, Miss Sparkles, I do not want to see you again. You're gonna check to see if he's there, right? Mr. Wick is gone. He is no longer on the street. The last thing either one of us needs is Mr. Wick paying us a visit in the night. Oh, he's gonna pay you a visit, Miss Sparkles. He's still alive. I wasn't sure if those seven cuts were to maim or if they were to kill. I love that the dog just finds a comfortable couch. <laughs> he's like, this is mine now. Raise a hand if you can hear me, John. I can hear you. Oh, shit. They took a finger. And they about to find out if you cut a king, you better cut him to the quick. You pissed, John. Are you? Yeah. 
Was that the end? No freaking way. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Okay, we have to talk about John Wick 3. That movie was wild. The very end of it totally blew my mind. I was not sure whose side Winston was on at first. Obviously, he's on his own side, but Sharon as well. I thought Sharon was going to be like very pro team Wick. And turns out he's mostly team Winston, which who knew that they would be on two different sides. I am really looking forward to seeing this next movie because I want to see more of the story fleshed out. I want to see what happens. I cannot believe that Winston betrayed John, shooting him multiple times, having him topple over the side of a building. At the same time, it didn't seem like he was trying to kill John. I mean, if you really wanted to kill somebody in this world where they're like bulletproof suits that would prevent bullets from fully killing you, wouldn't you want to shoot them in the head? So I'm not really sure if Winston has something up his sleeve. It does seem like a lot of people in these films have a growing tension with the members of the high table. So I am curious if in the next film, we're going to see the high table crumble. I was really hoping we'd see that in this movie. I really wanted John to pair up with other members of this world that felt betrayed by the high table and to kind of go after them because John was kind of between a rock and a hard place from the standpoint that he had to kill a member of the high table in order to appease his marker. But if he did that, of course, everyone would be after him. And then also Santino went after him in the last movie. So he had to defend himself and fight back. It was just this whole conundrum. And I know that he made the choice to kill Santino on continental property. So you could argue that had he not done that, then he wouldn't be excommunicado and everything would be fine. But that's just not how John Wick operates. And I guess from Winston's perspective, maybe John's the one who got him in trouble with the high table to begin with, because John was the one that decided to break the rules. Winston tried to help him as best as he could. And then, you know, as a result, Winston was going to get fired. And then he had a hit put out on him. So this world is very complicated. I don't expect for people to be loyal to one another. I do expect for people to look out for themselves. This is not a world filled with strong friendships. But at the same time, this is a world where I do like the fact that you can rely on people to abide by their word for the most part. I am amazed. John Wick is now pairing up the, with the Bowery King. This is so cool. And Morpheus and Neo working together again to take down the, I guess the high table. Like, uh. so the Bowery King is pissed as he should be seven cuts for seven bullets, man. If you could go back in time, don't you wish you either didn't help John or just gave him one bullet? My God, seven cuts for seven bullets. Also seven cuts for seven deadly sins. There's a lot of religious symbolism in these films, which I do like. I like the fact that in the previous films, we saw a lot of red lights. And in this one, we saw green as John was trying to win back his humanity and fight against the powers that be. Although by the end of the fighting, they turned red again. So I'm not really sure if that was because he was going to kind of dig back into his old life. Obviously here at the very end, he is pissed and he and the Bowery King are going to be working together theoretically in the next movie. And I can't tell if they're going to go after Winston or if they're specifically going to take down the high table, or maybe that's just what I want them to do. I don't know. I'm completely amazed. This movie was so epic. They not only raised the stakes, they widened the amount of objects that John uses to kill people. No more pencils. No, no. Now he uses library books, swords, and machetes and knives. My goodness, this movie had a lot more hand-to-hand -hand combat than I think we've seen in previous films. And that was of course impressive because it is so technical. All the stunts were wonderful. I imagine the training is so extensive. There are so many stunts, so many fight scenes to choreograph. And then obviously he has to look incredibly talented at what he's doing because it's not just people like me watching these films. It's also people who are much more skilled in some of these combat techniques. And so you have to be able to impress them as well. And I think they do a wonderful job job. Oh, my mind is completely blown. I cannot wait to see the fourth one. I'm very curious to see what the fourth one is going to be about. I was surprised at how many twists and turns this movie took. Another dog was shot. 
I'm so glad that dog wasn't killed. At first I misinterpreted it and thought the dog was killed, but I guess not, which I like. No complaints there. So I am very excited to see the next one. Uh, thank you so much for watching this with me. I hope you had an absolute blast. I certainly did. And yeah, I will just be reeling from this movie for the next couple of days. I'm definitely going to be watching John Wick 4. Make sure you are subscribed and hit that bell notification so you don't miss my next upload. I have a lot of really fun reaction videos coming your way. And like this video if you enjoy this content. It really supports my channel and I appreciate it so much. I'll see y'all next Friday. Bye.